A very good morning. <coughs> Excuse me. A very good morning to you, Sam. And indeed, it's true that a raid was conducted last evening, uh, according to the public health officers are here. Is that this is something that has happened? Uh, uh, it's not that rampant, as you earlier asked, uh, or, or rather asked a question on that. So it's not something that is rampant in this area. But uh, it is suspected that uh, the water, the the fake bottled water, is believed to be. <coughs> Uh, regular tap water as opposed to spring water. So we understand according to the public health director uh, Samuel Kingori, he just mentioned to us saying uh, because he was at the scene yesterday evening he mentioned that that, that that water company that is operating is illegal and according to their records uh, they do not have the name of that water company registered. So with me here is uh, the Deputy County Commissioner Elmi Shafi uh, Nakuru West uh, region to just explain to us and shed more light as to what happened and if there are any arrests that they've made so far. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Uh, maybe you could tell us, uh, have you made any arrests so far and uh, what what is the way forward concerning this? Okay, fine. My name is Elmi Shafi, the Deputy Count Commissioner Nakuru Town West, uh, as you were told. Uh, yesterday we got wind of uh, an illegal water installation in Ronda Estate in Akuru Town West and uh, we swung to action very quickly the enforcement county enforcement officers and the uh, our police officers made a visit to that place confiscated some of the products and uh, we took it, the samples to the office arrested the three workers in that place of Ronda and uh, taken them to our police cells in the central police and uh, we have uh, consulted widely with the public health department and uh, last night we deployed the security personnel officers to guard the installation so as persons don't complain or don't raise uh, issues and uh, people don't also vandalize the property. We have uh, witnessed uh, a big machinery installation of, uh, of uh, water. We have uh, talked to the Department of Public Health uh, this morning and uh, confirmed uh, beyond reasonable doubt that uh, that machinery of uh, processing so-called water for drinking is not uh, authorized by the public health and therefore it is uh, it is fake and if it's not authorized by the public health it's not supposed to be sold to the local population um, just uh, explain to us uh, this case is rampant or this is one of uh, a case that you've not seen in the past i have been here for a short period but uh, this is the first case uh, of of persons producing water or uh, distilling water uh, without uh, authority. This is the first one. We have uh, good officers or persons who are in the business, but this is the first one I'm seeing here. Uh, and uh, it appears they were doing behind the bag of the enforcement officers and the public health officers and the security personnel. And uh, if you start a business without authority, you might do it one month or two months or even three months, but the law will catch up with you. And uh, this particular one, uh, his 40 days are gone. We have caught up with him and uh, we will make sure that he does not proceed in the, the direction he was going. Thank you so much. Indeed, Sam, as you heard uh, from the Deputy County Commissioner, uh, Elmi Shafi, Sha Shafi is, ra is that uh, these uh, cases are not that rampant. Hence, uh, members of the public have been urged uh, to be on the lookout uh, uh, for such cases or other such incidences. Back to you, Sam.